It's time for our Ask the Attorney segment. Personal injury attorney Stuart Vance from the Vance Law Firm in studio this morning waiting to answer your legal questions live here on air. As always, we remind our viewers that you are a personal injury attorney. So what does that mean? That means we help people who have been injured by no fault of their own. Uh, most people think about car wrecks, on the job injuries, uh, injured, slip and fall, somebody's place of business, someone's home, uh, but really any kind of injury and it wasn't your fault, it's worth a phone call to find out what options you may have. We ask our viewers to call in during this segment, but you can also go to our website, WSFA.com. We have an Ask the Attorney segment there. One of our viewers submitted a question online. It's Myra from Kusada. Myra says that the previous owner of the home I live in has still has mail sent to my house six years after I moved in. Last month, the postal clerk told me that it was within my rights to open these letters. However, I don't think she's right. Is it illegal to open mail addressed to the prior resident of my home? Technically, it may be, but I would think you've answered several questions within that, that one question. How long has it been? Six years? I would throw it away. I mean, like you, we were talking before we came on, that if it's something important, it's probably been forwarded to the person who made sure they have their new address. Uh, so you're you not going to hurt anybody's feelings opening mail that you've been coming to your home for six years. But if you move to a new place or you get mail by mistake from a, you know, from someone else, it's not if it's maybe misaddressed. Yeah, I wouldn't open it. Um, but I would, but that long, the same thing reoccurring over and over again, I would toss it and not lose an ounce of sleep. Yeah, just throw it away, move yep. on. I know it's probably annoying that your mailbox yeah. is filled with mail addressed to people other than you, but Stuart just said probably best just to throw it out. Right, get tell the well, mail clerk Stuart said to throw it away. Stuart <laughs> said just throw it away. Move along. Six years, I'm okay with you telling them yeah. that. Yes. Then you don't have to worry about any any legal no, anything I with it. You wouldn't think so. Throw it no. in the trash. Move along. So we uh, mentioned your personal injury attorney. Mm -hmm. What what cases have you been dealing with a lot lately? What phone calls are you getting a lot? You know, we get we get a lot of odd calls, but <laughs> I'd rather those come in than not because sometimes there's the, there's merit to it. Um, it's uh, we say it all the time. Just call and ask the question. You know, most of our work is a personal injury, usually on some sort of vehicle accident, um, whether it's summertime on a boat, uh, motor home, 18-wheeler, regular car accident around town, fender bender to a very serious multi-car pileup. It could be any of those things. Uh, on the job injuries, people call and ask questions all the time. Some companies uh, in, Al in Alabama, you have to, the company has to be large enough to be required to carry workman's comp insurance, but most companies are. I think it's, I think the number is five. Oh, if you've got over five employees, they have to have comp insurance. So any type of on-the-job injury, a lot of people call about, hey, I was visiting someplace, I may have fallen, um, you know, really anything at all. Um, nursing home abuse is a big issue these days. There's, I think it's because of the you know, large increase in people getting that age. Baby boomers have now reached an age where they have to deal with maybe some assisted living and those type things. And there's some kind of shadowy uh, places that open to they will take care of these people and they don't really give the care they promote. So those are claims that we look into as well. So really, any kind of injury, make a phone call. It's free. We can give you the options that you have before you and then you can make your own decision. We have a caller on the line, Lily from Troy. Lily, what's your question? My question is, I had back surgery uh, 2022 and I found out later that uh, I needed the same back surgery again, and they uh, x-rays was doing, done at the former doctor's office, and he didn't tell me on it that I had uh, a cyst that was causing my back pain. So now I had uh, back surgery again last week, so I'm having to suffer through the same recuperation again. Is, that, is there anything legal I can do about that? Yeah, medical malpractice, which is what you're talking about. Anything in the medical field is governed by the laws around medical malpractice. And that's a tough area because the hurdle to prove a doctor or medical provider did something wrong, it's held to a much higher standard than just a negligent standard in a car wreck. Uh, in a medical malpractice case, it's more of, hey, would a, a doctor of equal qualification make the same decision and that that's what should be done by a doctor not what you and I might think should be done so uh, that's a question that I you know I'd have to get more information uh, time wise what happened you know if, if not looking for that cyst was a normal call what they do in their normal practice it may there may not be a claim if it's a situation where 
doctors that trained in that area should always look for the cyst, and that's number one on the checklist. Maybe there is a claim. So it go, gets into that fine of a detail. Uh, maybe check, we'll get back with you after this call so we can get some more information. But I, I compliment you on asking the question because like we just talked about, not knowing, you can sit and wonder and talk about it with friends, neighbors, and family, but at least you're being proactive and calling and asking some questions. Great idea, and we'll, look, we'll get back with you and ask, answer some more questions with you. Lily, thanks for calling. I hope you start feeling better soon. And go ahead and give us a call. We'll have more of our Ask the Attorney segment coming.